Hey, fish people, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about one of the easiest aquarium plants, in my opinion, that you can grow if you want to start keeping plants. The Anubius Bateri. Now, this is one of my favorite Anubiuses. Of course, the Anubius Bateri can be found in the western regions of Africa. It's going to attach itself to rocks, driftwood, other things it's going to be able to get caught on while it's drifting through, you know, streams and whatnot, similar to other Anubius plants. It's the most common version of Anubius you're going to find, also one of the most populars, because it is super hardy and very hard to kill. Uh, this variant can actually get up to 14 inches, you know, in length, so rather big. Same, you know, typical living conditions as other Anubiuses, so it's going to do well submerged, immersed in a terrarium setup. Whatever you want to use it for, it will fit the bill. You can put it, you know, foreground, midground, background, wherever you want to put it. Find a little hole, stick it, boom, you're good to go. Uh, it's very hardy, so you know, no particular water parameters required for it, which of course makes it a great beginner plant. It has broader, narrow shaped leaves, and those leaves are going to get sometimes up to 12 inches. And either way, whether they get 12 inches or not, they're going to have a nice dark, rich green color to them. Now, as far as care goes, again, super easy plant we're talking about here. Low to medium strength, light, shaded areas of your tank would be great for this. For temperature, it's going to be anywhere from 68 to 80, 82 Fahrenheit. Uh, the highest I kept mine was about 82 when I had it in my African Sikwa tank. pH range, 6 to 8, you're good to go. They can be propagated easy enough. You just cut the plant at the rhizome, make sure there's a leaf and some root on there, and it'll start growing a whole new plant. It is, of course, a rhizome plant. So when you go to plant this in your tank, you're going to want to make sure you don't bury the rhizome. You're going to want to think attaching it to things like driftwood, rocks, just finding a slit in your driftwood or another crevice you can stick it in. You can bury it somewhat, but you don't want to completely submerge the rhizome because that will suffocate the plant and cause it to die. So you can use things like fishing line, string, glue... Zip ties I've heard people use. Hair scrunchies, you can use those. Just don't bury it and you'll be okay. And something that people might not realize about Anubius plants is that they actually do shoot off roots. If you just stick it in your tank and you've got it, you know, buried behind rocks and stuff, you're not going to see it. But they do actually let roots down that will go into the substrate and pull nutrients from there. They don't require any special treatment. They don't require a liquid fertilizer. They don't require a CO2 injection. You can, of course, use these things. It's only going to benefit the plants. It's not going to hurt them in any way. If you notice your leaves are yellowing, they probably don't have enough nutrients, or the leaves could just be dying. Cut those leaves off. Give them a shot of liquid fertilizer. You can do a shot of liquid iron, because sometimes those will also be an indicator. If the leaves go yellow, that there's an iron deficiency. So, you know, you can add those things if you need to, but they're not required, because this is a super easy plant. As long as you've got some decent water with some nitrates in it, you're going to be good to go, and this will grow great for you. So overall, I'm going to give this a, you know, a perfect 10 out of 10 because it's just a great plant to grow overall. It's super hard to kill, super easy to grow. You can grow it pretty much anywhere, put it anywhere in your tank, take up spots you need. It is awesome for beginner fish keepers that want to, you know, dive into the world of plants and aquariums. Let me know in the comments down below your opinion on Nubius Pateri. If you've grown it before, how well it grew for you. If you had issues, leave a like on the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.